us your address, if you don't mind. Tell us the top of your street. Uh, I'm Bill Uzell. I live at 2015 Dressler Drive, the Intervale area of the county. Um, thank you very much for allowing me to comment. I'll, I'll be as succinct as I possibly can. I realize it's only five minutes. Um, my area of interest uh, evolves around Lake Mumal and the infrastructures and uh, the problems that are inherent right now <laughs> to that lake. Um, it has been neglected for a very, very long time. Not a few years, but 25, 30 years. Uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> the lake continues to degrade. Uh, it has become a safety problem. Um, I have tried my best as an individual, and I'm just an individual, I'm obviously not a government entity, to uh, draw attention to these problems. Uh, and, and we're making some headway. Uh, I know that uh, the areas of buoy control and and no wake zones and safety zones and no boat zones. They basically don't exist for all intents and purposes, if you want to be honest about it. Um, in terms of our boat docks and the, the uh, uh, entrance areas that we have for our recreation for the lake, they are, are in deplorable condition, frankly. Um, they need to be uh, refurbished, replaced. There is a lot of work to be done Lake Mumal, as you know, is one of our most important assets, from my personal opinion, in terms of uh, the Highlands area, not just Allegheny County, but Bath County, Craig, the whole area. It's sort of the, uh, uh, the star of the west, west of the Blue Ridge, if you will. Uh, so it's very important. I know that the Chamber of Commerce has been very active in trying to uh, uh, promote this area in terms of tourism, et cetera, et cetera. We need to get this entire uh, facility upgraded and taken care of. Uh, I, I personally don't think it would take all that much. Um, I know that Ms. Tanner is going to be here this evening. I had a conversation with her last July as soon as she got here. had a very nice conversation with her. She's very accommodating. Uh, unfortunately, not much has happened. Uh, since then, and I know she probably stepped into a, a hornet's nest, if you will, because I think everything's been kicked down the road. The can's been kicked down the road. It's the next administration, the next administration, and uh, the status quo just is unacceptable. It truly is. Uh, I've had some contact with uh, uh, administrators to actually show them personally the problems involved, uh, and I'm hopeful that we can help the U.S. Forest Service. I'm not here to indict the Forest Service. I'm not here to, you know, poke them in the chest and say, you know, get off your butt and get things done. I'm not, that's really not my purpose. My purpose is how do we help the U.S. Forest Service? How do we get the U.S. government the, on the federal level involved from each step up? Uh, again, I'm just one individual. Uh, I've written some letters. Some, I think you, you may have gotten a copy of my letter and my photographs. Um, I have been in touch with Mr. Griffith's office several times. They've been very accommodating in terms of uh, uh, creating liaisons between the U.S. Forest Service and themselves. I'm hopeful that they will be successful. There's $9.5 billion available with the Great American Outdoor Act that's been appropriated. It's in the bank, for lack of a better description. How do we get our hands on that? How can we help the Forest Service? Because that's one of the constant feedback that we get. I, we don't have the funds. We can't do that. Or I don't have the manpower. Or we can't do that. You know, it's not been approved. Okay, then let's stand up. Let's fight for the money. Let's find how we can get our hands in on that money somehow, some way. I'm, I'm asking for help from this group. I have been in contact also with the Bath County group. And I'm also uh, with Mr. Griffith. I haven't been in touch with our state senators. I guess maybe that's the next step. But some momentum has got to get created. This is too important a resource for this county uh, to let it just continue to degrade. It, it's, it's an embarrassment, frankly. And we need to do something. Um, I won't bore you with all the, the letters that I have uh, written or the emails, et cetera. Um, I have been in touch with, with Ms. Tanner, and I, and I know she's going to be on, and I'm, and I'm, I'm really glad she's here. 
I think she really wants to get involved and help, but she's going to need some help, I think, uh, from my perspective. And that's why I'm here to draw attention to it. Uh, I'm at the ready to assist in any way, shape, or form, uh, be it volunteers for work, be it uh, information dissemination, uh, whatever it takes. Uh, that's, that's where I'm, I'm coming from. Uh, and I'm, I'm grateful that you allowed me to, you know, say something about it. Thank you very much. Working out on the list. Okay. Okay. Any questions or anything else? We we know about circulation. I know you do. I mean, I, I, I don't want to beat a dead horse, <laughs> but, but I do want to be a, a, a bit of the proverbial pain, you know, to uh, continue to, to uh, voice that opinion. You know, and, and also the surrounding facilities are also in deplorable condition. The campgrounds and et cetera. Uh, they really need some help. Thanks again. Thank you, sir.